Hi, so um, uh, good evening, everyone. I am Dr. Rena Chavla, and um, uh, so I thought I'll quickly do a very short session uh, on what are the important topics that you should be now revising for OBG uh, for the upcoming NEET PG and INICT exams. Now, um, there's hardly a little bit more than a month left, I guess, uh, for your exams, and uh, this is the time where you will be very. Um, it's a very nerve-wracking time, I understand, for a lot of you. And uh, you need to now st start studying smart rather than studying hard. So how do you study smart? How do you go about choosing which topics require more attention uh, is what I will try to help you with as best as possible. And um, I wish you in advance good luck for the exam. So um, the you will definitely get questions from recent advances, recent topics which are in the news, which um, uh, the top medical colleges are now following because uh, the NEET PG questions are prepared by um, medical college faculty. So what are the potential questions that can come and which you should not be completely blank about? You should have some idea what these things are. And a few of these topics which I have gathered together are COVID and pregnancy. This is very, very important. You all know COVID otherwise is an important topic. COVID and pregnancy is a very small uh, part to it, but it is an important part. So this thing, this topic needs to be read. Laksha, what is Laksha? Laksha is Labor Room Quality Improvement Initiative. And this is uh, like an NABH or um, accreditation for labor rooms around medical colleges and government setups in the country. So it's like an NABH for labor rooms and it's a quality improvement to improve labor room. It is a Ministry of Health and Family Welfare initiative. Then WHO Labor Care Guide, which is the next generation partograph. It is already already being followed in most of the medical colleges now in place of the WHO partogram. So it's an important topic, the WHO Labor Care Guide. Then very, very important. This has already been asked in several exams earlier. The MTP Amendment Act of 2021. What are the important changes? Robson classification is again being followed in many uh, medical colleges. This is a classification system for all deliveries, including cesarean and normal deliveries. And uh, it was asked in the, I think, uh, the 2021 uh, INICT exam, or 2020 INICT exam. So again, it's an important topic. Then placenta accreta syndromes are important. I put it here because the incidence is increasing significantly. So we should know about placenta accreta. Then the new uh, in contraceptives, so there's nothing much new in contraceptives, but yes, you should know the um, uh, government of India, the contraceptions, of, uh, contraceptive techniques, uh, contraceptive methods available by the government, uh, these you should know. And carbitocin in labor, uh, nothing much has changed except, uh, of course, the labor care guide and carbitocin has been asked previously, which is a synthetic oxytocin. A few important points you should know about carpetocin. Now, most of these topics I have covered in on my, you can check out my YouTube channel. Uh, you will find short videos on most of these topics. Some may not be there, which I will try to cover in the coming few days. All right, but uh, please read these topics. These are definitely um, important and potential questions can come because they do ask stuff from recent things and this forms um, a lot of, um, you may get two or three questions from these topics. Okay, now apart from these, there are certain high yield topics. We you, when you revise, uh, you have to cover these topics. So I've put together a few, okay, uh, based on previous year uh, uh, papers and seeing the pattern and otherwise what is important, what faculty like to ask. So one is first trimester bleeding. Now this includes abortions, ectopic pregnancies, molar pregnancies. Usually you always get a question on ectopic abortion or molar. One of these is usually covered. It's a very important topic. Clinical scenarios are usually asked in this topic. Then Down syndrome screening. Again, this is a favorite, in, especially in INICT. It's again, uh, now it is uh, being done universally. Universal recommendations have come. That means it should be done in all women, pregnant women. So it is something which is new, upcoming. And again, it's been asked time and again repeatedly. Pre-eclampsia, eclampsia, because uh, <clears throat> again, it is an important topic, uh, which um, uh, again is a favorite of the examiners. Uh, clinical scenarios come or otherwise also lots of questions come on this topic. Third stage of labor, so PPH. Uh, so basically anything related to which can significantly cause um, maternal mortality and uh, morbidity. 
uh, is something which the examiners like to ask apart from rare things, okay? Because this is something which all of you should know. So third stage of labor, especially postpartum hemorrhage management is frequently asked. Okay, so devascularization, internal like artery ligation, drugs like um, uh, methogen, oxytocin, carbitocin, these are commonly asked. Contraception is a very important topic. You can't afford to miss this. What will you do in case of a missed pill? Um, different types of progesterone contraceptives so these again this is again is a favorite of the examiner then amenorrhea amenorrhea is a difficult topic yes um, but it's also a very very important topic because lots of questions come from here you can make lots of questions from here again it's a favorite of the examiners i have briefly described amenorrhea i discussed it in one of my youtube videos you can go and have a look apart from amenorrhea also pcos and i think i've forgotten to mention here infertility so pcos infertility also is very very important then the last hpg mulher and anomaly surprisingly so many questions came i think four or five questions came from mulher anomalies again a very 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 important topic lots of questions and easy questions come from here so it's it's a it's a scoring sort of um, area so don't miss out on this infections usually you will get something candida bacterial vaginosis trichomoniasis three favorite and three there are only three infections vaginal infections and of course pid the different kits that are there for syndromic management of pid so those are important questions always come from this area then of course gynae oncology uh, again the stagings you should know sometimes it's asked uh, sometimes they completely miss out on this but it's one topic which you should not go wrong especially cervical cancer and pre-cancer lesions of the cervix that's very important so these are the high yield topics that i put together apart from these if you ask me a few others which i've missed i think are fibroid endometriosis so these are also commonly asked questions okay so fibroids and endometriosis and infertility you can add to the list if you have time go through previous year questions very very important because the question may not be the same uh, recall exact recall but definitely around about that area or that topic they will ask questions previous year questions are very important if you cover the last five year questions uh, you will be covering most most topics number one and number two you will be getting a few recalls and you should not go wrong here if a question has been asked in the past this should you should not miss out on scoring here okay revise 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 whatever you've read there's no point um reading it unless you've revised it so concentrate on rather than reading reading new topics concentrate on revising what you've already read because what you've read you would have retained some amount by revising it it will stay in your mind and you won't forget so revise 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 is the key and this is for all subjects okay image is very important again more more so for uh, inict 30 to 40 percent of the paper is images so open your book the standard books that you read or you have a lot of image banks wherever you're reading from go through the images go through the options the other options you may not get the same image but you may get a get, an, get a question from one of the options so just try to cover if you're reading one topic try to cover other if you're reading hsg you're seeing unicornate uterus try try to look at bicornate uterus look at septate uterus look how everything looks like same for ultrasound uh, images i'm not about obstetrics and gynae instruments are asked commonly okay so these are common areas again i have done a youtube um, uh, discussion on uh, images and obstetrics so you can have a look at that for at least obstetrics so uh, uh, this um, yes but images are very very important 30 to 40 percent of the paper comes from here so again high yield area easy images come okay so don't miss out on answering these correctly okay also remember that you won't be able to answer everything i i, I mean uh, if i if I've, I've seen the questions in the previous papers and even i faltered i've um, so just the aim should be to get at least 80 percent 70 to 80 percent right okay you can't answer it all there will be questions which no one will be able to answer so don't worry about that because if you're not able to answer remember that majority of your colleagues your friends will also be not be able to answer so you can't answer it all okay but go with the thinking that observe and gynae at least is a very high scoring subject okay it's very limited it's very high scoring it's an easy subject and you need to aim to get 80 percent of your obs and gynae right so that is a good score okay so in the end um uh, with uh, this much time left with less time left for the exam you need to now start working smart and not hard revision is the key okay and considering the topics that i've told you for obg and I wish all of you the very best of luck. Thank you.